Hello again and welcome to this week's Gospel Talk, where we're going to be proclaiming the gospel about the ascension of Jesus into heaven and his return to his Father. A wonderful time for all of Christianity, a wonderful time for the people that walked with him for those three years and had the, the grace to be with him as he preached and taught the world for those three years of his ministry. Today's gospel is from the Gospel of Mark, and this gospel will be read this Saturday or Sunday uh, for the Ascension, uh, wherever you choose to worship. You have a chance to hear it here now, and then hear some of my thoughts on it, but again, let the gospel speak to you. The gospel speaks to each one of us differently. There is no right or wrong to the feeling that you get when you hear God's word. So let us share in the gospel you will be hearing this Sunday, wherever you worship. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, go into the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be condemned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them in the least. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and the sick shall recover. And the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sits at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirming the word with signs that followed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now one may think that this was a very scary time for the apostles, a very scary time for the people that had walked with Jesus for three years and then actually walked with him after he rose from the dead for a time they say was 40 days. It was probably not exactly 40 days. It was probably a long time that Jesus spent with them, preparing them for what they must do, explaining things to them that they may not have understood the first time he spoke about them. But when they saw him ascend to the Father, that was a culmination of years of teaching about the Father in heaven, about the fact that Jesus and the Father were one, hearing things from Jesus' own mouth about only the Father knows when certain things would be happening in their lives, in the lives of those around them, the fate of the world in the Father's hands. But they were filled with great joy instead of sadness, because it was the culmination of everything that he spoke to them about. Going back to the Father, being with the Father, was the epitome of the promise that they were told, that if they followed Jesus, if they followed his way, they too would end up in the glory of heaven, in the presence of Jesus and the Father, not for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years here on earth, but for an eternity which in our finite minds we cannot grasp something without an end. But that is where we are promised to be if we follow the path of Jesus. Now, Jesus also reminded us that in order to follow that path, that was taking the narrow way. That was taking the more difficult way in life. That was making following his commandments, following his way of living, making 
making a priority his two strongest commandments, loving the Father with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with everything you are, as well as loving one another as he loved us. Living life that way is not very easy. It's very much easier living a life of pleasure, doing things here on earth that provide us with happiness and pleasure each and every day. That's a much easier way to live. It's much more difficult following the way of Jesus. But we do so because he promised us that we would have an eternity, an eternity filled with love and peace and security, surrounded by everyone we have ever loved and wrapped with the love the love of God, which is unlike any other love we could ever possibly experience here on earth. Jesus, when he ascended to the Father, not only left us with a group of men and disciples, women included, that lived his gospel for us to follow, but he promised the paraclete, the Holy Spirit would come down and fill the hearts of those that believed in him. And that Holy Spirit did not just come upon those apostles and those followers of his that day. The Holy Spirit very much resides in each one of us, in our hearts, even now. And that Holy Spirit is what gives us the courage to walk the narrow path, to do the right thing, to spread the type of love that comes from believing in the Son and the Father. So I ask you during this joyful time of ascension to the Father, which we will hear about this weekend, I ask you to think about the difficult times in your life, how you've gotten through them because of your faith, because of the love of the people that you have surrounded yourself with. And I want you to look at heaven as that prize that each one of you will achieve, and hopefully myself as well, by following that narrow path and making the word of God the word of our lifetimes and the paths that we will follow. I thank you once again for joining us today. Please tell other people about our gospel talks. Uh, you're more than welcome to come to our masses on Sundays here at Franciscan Villa and at Franciscan Courts and Gardens. My name again is John Herbert. I'm the Director of Pastoral Care, Mission Integration, and the chaplain here at this wonderful facility. I wish you a wonderful weekend, and I wish you a great Ascension Sunday. God bless.